Hello houseplant friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a super exciting houseplant vlog and we're gonna be starting off at North End Organic Nursery. I've never seen one in real life before, genuinely. How much are they? Uh, 60. Edward's had some too. Amazing. They all have new leaves coming out too. Yeah, what do you think? I like it. You like it? You think you're gonna get one? Maybe. <laughs> By the way, show everyone your cute dress. Like, oh my goodness. It looks <laughs> so beautiful on you. Oh, they got a ton of other fun plants too. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Look at the big donkeys too. I have. know. Yeah, I don't know how to feel about this because this isn't a plant that I'm obsessed with. I have a baby one at home. Oh, you do? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, see, that's what I like. If it was like smaller, I think I would be obsessed with it. Yeah, they're beautiful. See, this is, I think, one that, I think this is the best looking one. Yeah, that's why I think I wonder how they got it. I don't know. There's two plants. Mm-hmm. Oh, cute. Oh, see, I like that. Yeah. I don't like big leaves. I'm so dumb. <gasps> Look at this baby. See, I would like buy it and then like separate it and then like resell the bigger one. Mm. I feel like is what I would do. But they're beautiful. It's, it's just incredible that they're even in Boise. Edward's got these, you guys, which we're gonna go to Edward's next. Edward's got these in. And I didn't rush over because I was like, I'm not in love with the plant. And if I go there, I might like, like I get this feeling where when I see something rare or something that I know isn't super common, I kind of panic and I want to buy it because of the fact that I've never seen it before. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so I wanted to protect myself from that feeling, but you like seeing it in person. The only one I would want is the teeny tiny one, like the little baby. I mean, if you wanted to get one, we could split it. Like if you wanted the big one. Mm -hmm. I already have one. Yeah, I feel like we should leave it here for someone who will actually be obsessed with it. I don't know. I like it, but then they got an entire shipment of a bunch of other exciting things, which we have yet to see because believe it or not, these silver swords are exciting, but there's a bunch of other really exciting plants here as well. Oh, they got a lot of really beautiful common plants. I know, I, I was looking at it. All right, let's look at the rest of the plants. First things first, we saw a velvet boy. You guys, they just got like so many beautiful, beautiful babies. Check this out. We have two philodendron micans. Just vibing, living their little best life. This one is definitely super duper nice and healthy. Look at that little baby leaf right there. That's so cute. These plants are $29.95. Also, look at this pot. It's like blue and pink. That's like my entire aesthetic. One of the next fun things that I saw were these Snow Queen Pothos. I'm pretty sure that they got these from J&J &J Nursery because these are the pots that they use and these are the hooks that they use. I know that they sell them. There's another pretty one. Let me go find it. Check that out. Oh, it's so beautiful. Amazing. These guys are $36.95 and they are so beautiful. Amazing. Down here we have all of the Marble Queen pothos. They are also really nice. I feel like you guys, I might be getting into pothos, but also it might just be this one plant that has me feeling some sort of way. Looks like we got in some little Oncindium gold dust. Oh, this is a different type. It's ready for it to be on Cindium Twinkle because they always sell that one. Yeah, they do. Gold dust. These guys are $24.95. I loved it the last time I was here. It's so pretty. Yeah, Brooke actually has that one. Does she? Mm hmm. She do. I picked it up for her and shipped it to her. Look at this, bro. Like, how do I not? It's so beautiful. On this table, we have some interesting looking uh, aluminum plants and some little Sansevieria. A couple of these super small Carnosa. Oh yeah, they posted that one too on their page. That's beautiful. This is a big basket of Hoya Carii. She's going for $42.99. That is an amazing price, considering that one stem of these usually goes for like- Seriously. Yeah, I think this is where I got my big basket of it. Mm. Very rare find. I just like this one. Yeah, that's a big boy. <laughs> right here, we have some Philodendron Brazil. These guys are $24.95. See, I wish that like, I wish that this is what was 40 bucks and that was what was 20. But she's really beautiful. I've been wanting one of these lately, but I'm waiting for just the perfect one. This one's really like long. I like it a lot. I like this leaf. Ooh, this is one of my favorite begonias. 
This is Begonia Kit Kat, I believe. She is $14. This is the Begonia I keep waiting for Home Depot to get back in. I am obsessed with it, but at Home Depot, they are $4.99. So I'm gonna keep waiting instead of paying $10 more, but it's beautiful. Here we have a bunch of the little ripple pepperomias. I know, right? I feel like I'm getting back into pepperomia. And then I also really like these little rickrack cacti propagations that they have going on, especially these ones, because they're like, look, the Natalie, they're growing in. Yeah, those are all the new growth points. Isn't that freaking adorable? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, he is throwing little hands! Oh, I love it. Here we have just a beautiful string of pearls. I actually just bought a couple small ones and put them in a pot and made my own little pot of string of pearls, but this one is really beautiful and it's an amazing price at $28.95 for such a luscious beauty. Incredible. We have another one here. It is also very long and pretty. We got this big old rick rack cacti right here. And up here we have a little barrow's tail. We also have a little ruby cascade necklace. Don't know why it's called little pickles. <laughs> little pickles. But yeah, this is a little cascade necklace. Right here we have the Hoya Obavada. These guys are beautiful. I'm tempted to get one of those. I might, I, I think I'm getting, I think I wanna get this one. I wanna pot it up with my other one that I have. I think it's like nice and long and it's like growing in. Mm -hmm. He's kind of fun. This one's nice because it's splashy. I know, I like the little baby. Yeah, the little splashy baby. And also this like, that one leaf right there is so round. Mm -hmm. Like it's like perfect. $21.95, an icon if you ask me and Natalie. <laughs> Over here we have some little troll butts. Little Lithops, these guys are $9.99. Here are some fun cacti. Whoop, sir, he hold my dress. Here we have this little uh, Albo Euphorbia thing. Get him out of the cash pot. These guys are expensive at $74.99, but they are very, very, very slow growing cacti because of the fact that of course they are white. Here are our little Euphorbia Horridas. We love them, they are $4.50. Here's what the entire store looks like from this angle. It's very beautiful. They still have these little Pylea peperomioides, which I'm obsessed with. I think that they're so fun. Here we have some curly lipstick plants. This is kind of a rare find for Boise. We don't typically get these in. The only place we have gotten these in is here, and these are $21.99. Got a couple more of those just kind of hanging around down low. We got another pothos over here. This one they took the hanger off of. This one is extremely full. Ooh. Super duper beautiful, but it doesn't have a hanger. True. This monstera is very pretty. She's pretty massive too. Look at how big this piece lily is, y'all. Wow. Show you the silver swords one more time. This is just incredible that these are even here. The price is definitely below market price. These are selling for like over a hundred right now online, but I think we're gonna pass because Natalie already has one and I'm not obsessed unless it was just like one of these little plants on its own. I'm just not a fan of the big leaves. That's pretty incredible, especially for Boise. I'm having a conundrum. <laughs> That's a fun word. I can't decide if I'm gonna get anything and also what I would get, because I really, really like the pothos. And when I walked in, I said, oh my God, I'm getting this. I don't even care, I'm getting it. And it's 40 and it's fine because that's a hard pothos to grow because it's so white. I just bought an album like the other day. <laughs> so my budget is not exactly what you would consider majorly spendable. If I hadn't done that, then of course, of course in a heartbeat, but um, I did do that and we can't ignore that. So this is the obavada I want to get but I do have multiples of these plants at home. <laughs> so I, I do this thing where I buy a lot of the plants that I love. I know. Because I'm They're obsessed. Not to yeah, I'm obsessed with them, but I don't need them. I don't know. I think what I'll do when I get home is just go and appreciate the ones that I have. This is North End's third time in a row getting these. And the one that I did buy from North End two weeks ago or three weeks ago, whenever that was, I literally couldn't put it down. I picked it up and I carried it around the entire store with me and I couldn't put it down. And none of these I felt inclined to pick up and carry around with me. <sighs> what are you thinking, girly? I'm probably gonna wait just cause it is almost summertime and everyone's gonna be getting in more plants. Yeah, but they're really beautiful. They are. The only thing I really love about this one is this little, little baby. baby leaf, yeah. Okay, so now we're heading to 
Edward. You got nice sun on your face. Let me get some. We're gonna take some baller photos while we're there, so. Hell yeah. Okay, we're at Edwards now, and look what I found. Turns out we didn't even have to rush. Another yeah. silver sword. Today's just like the day of silver swords, I guess. <laughs> wow, it's so beautiful here today. All right, here's our Hoya. Oh, Crimson Queens, beautiful. We got some Hoya Chelsea. I'm really glad that this is becoming more common. This is just one of my favorite plants. Let's start over here with these Hoya. We have some Hoya Crimson Queen. I'm still convinced that these are just variegated Chelsea's. 100% like that's a Chelsea leaf. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like this one. <gasps> oh, Ooh, look at this leaf. Yeah, I'm obsessed. I think I'm gonna get this actually. Look at that. Wow. It looks painted. Oh my God, I love it. Tiny leaf, this one's big. We also have some uh, trio stars. These guys are in super nice condition. Oh, what do they say? These are $18 as well. I wonder if they're pricing by pot now. Four inches, 18. Some normal uh, Jade Carnosa boys. This one's trying to become a princess. Same. <laughs> <laughs> then we have some uh, Hoya Carnosa Compacta. Big ol' Monstera Deliciosa. And another silver sword. Freaking Mavis was here yesterday. Oh look, Retusa. Mavis was here yesterday and they had like splashy pubicalyx and she heckin' Ooh. bought it. And I was like, ah, oh, I hate you. A ton of these golden pothos and the lemon lime uh, cordatum. Look at these orchids. Oh my goodness. Yeah, look at that one. Yeah, these are beautiful. We have some Calathea orbifolia right here. Beautiful, these guys are also 18. He is so charming. It is so beautiful here, you guys. Okay, so I'm walking around with this guy, but I'm not sure I'm gonna get it. It's really, really hot in here today. It's 70 outside, so it's probably 85 or 90 in here, but look at it. So beautiful. Surprise! <laughs> um, I ended up coming to Succulent Day just to visit, and I figured since we were doing a houseplant like vlog today, I would just like show you some of the cool plants that they have without like doing like a strict tour or something, because I never really come here and just hang out with you guys. So I wanted to show you. Look at that. Look at those babies. How <laughs> how do they do that? And then I wanted to show you this beautiful variegated string of pearls. And then they have some normal ones too. They're so cute. I've been really loving String of Pearls lately. They have String of Hearts too. Also String of Turtles. Like look at this, it's just like a little string of box. Something fun they got in are all of these little, this is hybrid philodendron. My guess is the Prince of Orange, but it could also be Macaulay's Finale. I'm really bad at telling the difference between those. I'm sorry, but that is just so beautiful. Okay, so that is all for today. I didn't end up getting anything, which maybe I jinxed myself because at the beginning of the day, I was like, probably gonna spend some money, but then I didn't. So thank you guys so much for coming along with me and Natalie on this beautiful spring day. It's getting hot, so we're gonna head out, but thank you for coming. I hope that you have just as good plant luck. I can't wait if this is March mm -hmm. to see what the house plants are gonna be like in the summer. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you hit like, subscribe, and tweet me at Plant Me Ashley. Follow me on Instagram at Plant Me Ashley. I do a lot of fun stuff there. It's April Fool's Day, so I hope you guys had fun. Go check out my skit video if you haven't seen it yet, 73 questions with a houseplant expert, and I'll see you guys in the next houseplant section. Goodbye. <laughs>